Don't be fooled by the uproar in Pakistan over the shooting of 14-year-old Malala Yousafzai, the brave teenager recovering in a UK hospital after being shot by the bearded Neanderthals of the Taliban because she spoke out for the education of Muslim girls. Also, don't be fooled by an online petition signed by, among others, Bob Ray of the Liberal Party, nominating her for the highly politicized Nobel Peace Prize, whose genuineness has been diminishing by the year. Just watch how soon Malala is forgotten once the self-promoters have finished riding on her coattails. Remember, Pakistan is a totally failed state whose rich and powerful are busy transferring their wealth to the West. And the masses are busy eking out a living, saving enough to educate their boys to become their Canada pension plan. Instead of using Malala as a political football for gender equality, let each developed nation contribute $10 million to a Malala Yousafzai fund for the education of Muslim girls. Then put together feminist thinkers and activists on the ground. And I mean the real McCoys like Shoma Chaudhary the female editor of India's investigative magazine, The Helka, firebrand women's rights lawyer Flavia Agnes in Mumbai, author Arundhati Roy and others like them in Pakistan, not elite feminist wannabes who grace tea parties in Western consulates. These female activists fight for the women every day on the ground, give them the resources and let them loose rather than descending like a bunch of patriarchal Westerners. Remember, time is of the essence because Pakistan has been ranked 134 of 135 by the latest Global Gender Gap Index when it comes to women. Think about it. I'm Zohair Kashmiri.